Bloomberg dollar indica 1200. We came from 1356, I believe, uh, sometime last year. That's about 10% drop. Does this have more, more to go in your view? Good morning, David. Good morning, Yvonne, and thank you. Um, we would say yes, but actually we think it's more of a 2024 story. If anything, this summer we think the dollar could get a little bit of a lift. Why do we say that? Um, this isn't the first time we've had you know, the market sell off on the dollar uh, with regard to a soft CPI print. That did happen, I think, in October of last year. So in a way, a lot of this move has been about positioning uh, and long positioning squeeze in the dollars uh, and also amidst the carry currencies in, in uh, emerging markets. Um, but we would say the dollar is a little bit oversold, even on a technical basis. So if we try to move away from red expectations and fundamentals, it's been a great technical move, but I think it's a bit oversold and we'd expect the dollar to regroup uh, and be a bit firmer over the next couple of months. What about what we were talking about, right? If the BOE still needs to hike a couple more times, the ECB, you know, mm. they, they say maybe September is still sort of a, you know, not, not a, a possibility, but not certainty. I mean, how does that change how the dollar goes the rest of the, the, the year? I, th I think that's the, the key point in a certain sense. I mean, we're all trying to dance around when the Fed will pivot and when we'll get the easing cycle and we can conclude that the Fed is done. Uh, we still think that there's another rate hike not only in July but potentially in September, October. So from that perspective, again, it reinforces that view that we think the dollar will still lift longer. But as well, it's very important to say that relative policy and monetary policy reaction functions are very clear an important driver in the near term as we try to balance the effects of, of what recession uh, or recession risks could mean. So by that I mean I think with sterling we think the risks are somewhat symmetrical but you can see the price action of sterling this year the currency has been so beaten up uh, and you're getting that expectation well if we are past the peak in inflation and inflation will move inevitably lower partly because of base effects then the real out the real rate outlook mm -hmm. particularly with the, the UK and the Bank of England hiking more aggressively will lend that support to, to sterling. With the euro area, I think, again, the risk has always been a little bit more on the growth dynamics and how far the euro area can sustain with rate hikes. We also have to keep in mind that the China growth outlook, which is also weakening, could also have a potential impact on the eurozone as well, given the trade linkages. Um, but again, I think probably sterling may do a bit better than, than euro relative on a relative basis in terms of rate expectations. So uh, from here on, I think, in terms of the dollar being firmer, perhaps more downside risk on, on euro dollar rather than uh, on, on cable losing its luster.